We are so back. How are you doing? I'm 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 well. I had a kind of chill week, but you know, we we ride, we ride. Uh so yeah, uh my scent of the day will be explained and talked about during the last day, which is today, you know, of the week, the rotation. This is a fragrance rotation. We you've read the title. Let's just get into it. On Sunday, I wore this the modern 200 ml behemoth that is Azaro Bram. You know, it's it's a it's an iconic fragrance. It's got the 70s harsh soapness. It's it's just good. It's not jolly, but it's 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 a very gentle kind of. It's it's a very gentle of its time, kind of, uh, you know, uh, non-violent masculinity, you know, not you know to contrast with, again, I like to do this a lot with these kinds of scents, the, the piss bombs of the '80s. It's just it's just way better, way cleaner. Well, not way better, way better. It's kind of a it's more it's different. It's it's more different. It's way. It's way more different. It's not that the, the piss locker room kind of sweat of the eighties. It's it's way cleaner and you know it's it's aight. This modern formulation as well. You don't need. You do not need the vintage. Like it's good. It's well. It's great. But just spray more of this because this is cheap, cheap as chips, and you won't really have any problem with that. So, moving on from Sunday to, you guessed it, if you're smart, Monday. On Monday, I wore Puranum de Caron. What is Puranum de Caron? You know it. Lavender, vanilla, it's cool, it's great. It's, it's the bee's knees. It's the ant's elbows. It's the, it's the cockroach's antennae. So yeah, that's, it's Puranum de Caron, is just lavender, vanilla, great, very kind of, it's, it's, it's kind of the original Diorum in a way, in that it's like a, one of the oldest kind of metrosexual fragrances, this is a very gentle, fluffy, fuzzy vanilla, the lavender is there, but it, it also just kind of exists to give texture to that vanilla, so you get this very kind of, I can't believe it's not a feminine release, masculine release. Again, Pur Anum de Caron, this is aimed, was aimed towards men and still is, I assume. Uh, they won't call it, you know, Pur Enfant de Caron, it's Pur Anum. So that's that. Uh, Pur Anum de Caron, awesome. It's great. It's good fun. What isn't that much of a good fun time is my Tuesday wear, which, as you guys can see, is... Givenchy Gentleman Eau de Toilette from 1974. It's it's a tough wear for me, I'll be honest. The, these kinds of scents are why I don't really... I at least thought I did not enjoy leather as a note. Turns out I do. I just really enjoy the feminine forms of leather, you know. in stuff like Salon Pachas Kirillin just open my mind to any feminine leathers out there and like ombre cuir as well as a very gentle sweetness really dials it back for me and is something that I can actually enjoy rather than this which don't get me wrong there are some enjoyable facets here it's just the the, the goopy oh I don't know I touch my nose to this my nose is gonna be smelling of this this kind of goopy harsh in noticeably leathery composition I mean I mean sure there's patchouli in here but I don't really know what to smell when I you know when I'm trying to detect patchouli I'm not a big note guy this is just a big gloop and it's leather so ah it's not for me again it's 
I'll, I'll wear the sh the hell out of this. I just, I'm, I'll be fine when this goes away. I won't give it to anyone. I'll enjoy it quietly, wear it by myself. The mini bottle is cute, you know. But other than that, uh, not 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 a crazy strong like for me. I'm talking about uh, Tuesday's wear. So, moving on to Wednesday's wear was Enrico Coveri Perum. This is just it's it's just like a kind of old man shave scent, not too dissimilar from. Uh, Alzaro Perón, and that's is you know you can kind of get an example of that when I ask my mom uh, when I wore this first of all she told me I stank because she does not enjoy these scents so I asked her do you not get any a uh, similarity to Alzaro Perón oh you know I just said it in a, in a Russian in in Russian you know ни 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 чувствуете никакой-то запах похоже на Alzaro для мужчинов and I just literally said what I said in English and Russian just for the, you know, for the authenticity, you know, to bring you into that particular memory. And so she did say yes, but, and, again, very pleasant, very, actually not very 80s. I mean, there is a bit of, it is noticeably more intense, but it's kind of 70s in that barbershop thing, barbershop. Fougères kind of bring me to 70s rather than 80s, mostly because of this fine thing. Although, you know, well, I mean, you you kind of like, sure, you, you had Kuros at that time, which is noticeably and understandably very 80s inspired, but a decade, I don't know, decades when they start in terms of a cultural zeitgeist is, is a kind of complicated subject. So you could kind of say this is a carry-on from the 70s, instead of like calling it an 80s fragrance. Again, very nice, noticeably rounder than at least the vintage uh, Azara Perón. The modern one just, it's, it is sharper as well. But it's just, it's it's kind of, you know, it is it is thinner. You could feel it being, you know, kind of interpret the modern one as, as thinner. But it, I don't mind it, like, one bit. I know it sounds like I'm being defensive about it. It's it's fine. You can, you can, you can deduce whatever you want from my uh, sayings. I don't know what I'm saying half the time. So that was Wednesday's wear. Enrico Covetti Perón. Uh, you'd be surprised to know that on Thursday, I wore precisely zero cents. Uh, I wanted to wear something, but just kind of didn't. Uh, so that's that. It's, i pretty sure it's because I, I drank too much and got a bitch of a hangover on Thursday. So I didn't really feel like, you know, spraying anything. I wanted to, but like, I thought I, I'll probably go to the gym because I, I didn't feel the extent of the hangover until I got to, you know, until I got on campus. And that's when I really understood I'm fucked. I'm so goddamn hurting. It's so bad. So I skipped that. I didn't spray on the gym scent, which you guys might or might already know is Nice Bergamot by Ascension Parfums. And so yeah, that was that. A Thursday was a nothing day, but I'll, I don't know, try and do something else. Uh, you know? Yeah. Ooh, sorry. Jesus, what's with these yawns, man? As I was, as I was saying, I'll, I, you know, I'll try and wear th stuff more it's just sometimes you get a nothing day and that's it it's it's how life happens and moving on to friday i had a, a mixed feelings dive i had i dove uh you know mediterranean sea i'm right next to it so i dove uh scuba uh i mean dove not like not like you know springboard flip you uh, you know kind of uh dispoir or whatever you want to say. It's more of a, you know, you get the tanks, you carry the tanks, 
you go underwater. I had some problems because I got way too little heat protection and I just I could not uh, bring the pressure in my ears to a normal level like at all. It was kind of a, you know, it kind of, I was rusty. I was admittedly, admittedly very rusty. And so, you know, oh well, we, we, we kind of dusted off and we continue on our, you know, diving journey. Uh, so yeah, I it, I didn't have a scent from the morning, but when I did get back and I sprayed a little some some, a little some some was a cuir cuir curcuma by uh, Affinescence, which is a kind of. I mean, it's leathery, but it's also got that weird Affinescence DNA, where it's kind of. It's got that kind of powdery, irisy feel to it. Like, they're all very, they have this kind of common thread within them that just kind of feels fluffy and almost like white powder in a way. And not in the Allahitic Chanel number no. 5 way, it's just like a, a kind of weird, lukewarm powder thing. And... I can see why people would go uh, gaga for these affinescences, but as for me, I'm not, I'm not gonna pay for these, especially when you got some, the, the Baroque compositions of Sol and Pasha, that's, as I've discovered recently, uh, you can watch my previous videos, if you want me to make a playlist for you to watch all these videos, do type it in the comments, uh, but yes, that's Cuir uh, Curcuma, kind of a meh leather scent, if I if I say, it's not offensive, it doesn't really, really uh, you know, kind of irritate my nose like, like gentlemen. It's more of a kind of middling, average, inoffensive leather. It's like, like, like the, I don't know, it's like a, it's like a family-friendly YouTuber who doesn't really get into drama, but is also not the type of thing that you, you know, kind of watch on the, on the daily. So that's that. And today, my scent of the day is... A repeat, because I did not look at the list of scents that I wore, and yes, I did wear the modern Alzado Perron today as well as on Sunday. Which kind of brings things full circle, in a way. I already did talk about this, but it's, you know, it's still very good, uh, very pleasant. It's kind of fun in a, in a way, you know. It's clean, and it has a kind of... 70s barbershop fun to it uh, but it's more of a high class fun golfing with your friends sunday brunch eggs benedict that kind of fun it's not a going out to nightclubs or a doing coke lines in the bathroom kind of fun this is way more of a white pick su suburban white man type of fun Sometimes I do want that suburban white man type of fun, which you can tell by this sheer size of this bottle. Like, God, God save anyone who this, ac you know, uh, accidentally and unfortunately fell onto their head and, for you know, onto their head. For ac I, sorry, let me construct a sentence again. God have mercy for whose head this, ma this massive bottle would fall on. Just massive bottle. Not massive scent in terms of like its 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 presence, but it's still there, and you still enjoy it. Other people's thoughts be damned. So that was Azaro Perón again, and that has been my uh, fragrance rotation video once again. Uh, if you have enjoyed, uh, do uh, you know hit the like button? It's it's great. Uh, leave a comment as well what you guys think of any of these uh, and expect some more in the future I'm I'm kind of I'm trying to th see if I can get a sample of the newest Healy release you know the jogging one because I've, I've heard I've seen that they have a savon de Marcy Marcy uh, note in it i hate notes but whatever in, you know it says it's soapy and inspired by 70s fragrances which oh, oh would you look at that that's right the 70s just called 
And yeah, I'm, I'm a huge fan of what Healy is doing, and that's going to be good. Also, get your Nez ready. That's all I'm going to say. Like, comment, subscribe. Maybe there's going to be a link, a special link, you know, with, with where you can do something. And that's that. Thank you, and goodbye.